Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a very fun problem for you guys today. Um, so this problem involves finding actual numbers, um, which I don't post very often, but I really like this problem. So if you'd like to try to solve it, uh, feel free to pause the video. All right, so now I'm gonna go over the solution. Um, so we wanna find AB in the figure, and we're given that AB is equal to one, uh, CD is equal to one, and ABD is a right angle, and DBC is 30 degrees. Okay, so how do we start? Uh, so I'm gonna start by letting BC equal X. Okay, and I wanna create some 30, 60, 90 right triangles here, um, because I have to use this 30 degree angle somehow. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a perpendicular from C to the line AB. And I'm gonna let E be the foot of that perpendicular. And so now we know that uh, triangle CBE is a 30, 60, 90 right triangle um, because angle CBE has to be 90 minus uh, 30. So angle CBE is 60 degrees. And then since CE, we defined it to be perpendicular to BD. And so that's gonna be a right angle there. And then obviously that means that angle BCE has to be 30 degrees. And so we found a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So we can use that fact. Um, so in any 30, 60, 90 triangle, it's half of an equilateral triangle. So if BC is X, that means BE has to be X over two. Uh, and not only that, um, CE uh, has to be X root three over two. Um, so you can find this by the Pythagorean theorem on the triangle BCE, or many people just know it. In any 30, 60, 90 right triangle, um, the length of the longer uh, leg is root three times the length of the shorter leg, okay? And now we can use another fact also. So uh, we let E be the foot of the perpendicular from C to the line AB, but since uh, this is a right angle, angle BC, and angle ABD is also a right angle, uh, BD is parallel to CE. Um, and so we can use that fact um, to create ratios. Um, so since BD is parallel to EC, then we have AB over AD has to equal BE over DC. And so therefore, if we substitute the numbers, AB is one, uh, BE is X over two, and DC is one. So we have one over AD is equal to X over two, because um, DC is one. And so solving, we get AD is equal to two over X. Um, so I'm gonna write that out here. And once we know that, uh, can you see how to finish off the problem? So it turns out we can use the Pythagorean theorem to finish this off. Uh, so triangle AEC is a right triangle. And so therefore we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. So AE squared plus EC squared has to equal AC squared. And AE is one plus X over two. Um, and EC is X through three over two. And AC is two over X plus one, okay. So we have this algebraic equation. And if you simplify it, so I'm not gonna do all the algebra, but uh, it turns out that the constant terms of both sides are equal to one. Um, and once you work out all the algebra um, and you uh, move all the denominator, you, you multiply through everything by x squared so that x's aren't in the denominator, uh, you get x to the fourth plus x cubed is equal to four plus four x. And now, uh, so it turns out we can just factor an x plus one out of both sides here. Um, so the left side is x cubed times x plus one, and the right side is four times x plus one. And, uh, and we can cancel this x plus one because x is obviously not equal to negative one because um, you can't have a negative side length. And so that means that x cubed is equal to four. And so x is equal to the cube root of four. And then once we know that, we can find AD. AD is simply two over X. 
Okay, so what is 2 over the cube root of 4? Well, what we can do is we can make them both cube roots. So 2 over the cube root of 4 is the same as the cube root of 8 over the cube root of 4. So, so AD is, is 2 over X, um, which is the cube root of 8 over the cube root of 4, and that's the cube root of 2. So I thought it was really interesting that the solution to this problem is a cube root of a number. Uh, that's not very common that you see that in geometry. Um, but um, yeah, it was, it's interesting how um, yeah, a problem that looks so trivial, the answer is actually a cube root which is not what I would expect. Uh, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.